Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 2, the real driving simulator. So, uh, getting a really, really late start on this one tonight, but I just got home from uh, the arcade, so it's totally alright. There's no problem with that, so nobody can get on my case about it. Alright, sounds good. So, <clears throat> I set the, I set the, I improved my record on Frogger, I guess would be the, uh, way they the way to put that because apparently like every week or whenever they like turn the machines off and move them because apparently they do that in there then uh, all the scores reset and so that happened and so I had to go back in there again and be like bitch I'm gonna reset this record and so I reset it and then on top of you know re like re getting the record uh, I actually beat the record that I had beforehand so it was actually even better than that so it was even even more, even more good. And then on, uh, ooh, wow, there's a lot of choices for this apparently. Well, ooh, I like that green. It's kind of cool. So on top of that, I went and played, uh, I went and played San Francisco Rush the Rock, and uh, that was pretty sick. I, uh, I set two records on that one because they have, they have four machines there, and so, um, I set the record for track two on one of them, and then I. I got third. I got third place on a different machine, but I was playing against. Uh, I was playing against three other people, so we actually had like a full thing going on, and uh, it was on. That song was on track two again, and it was it was super sick because uh, you know I was I was totally showing them up the whole time. Trial Mountain, come on, man! Not Trial Mountain. So uh, you know we're we're racing. And I'm pretty much showing him up the whole time. Like, I had a commanding lead. I was pretty much playing it for the sole purpose of trying to beat my record that I had already just had. Uh, which I ended up beating it, by the way, by, like, a half of a second or something like that. But, um, actually, this isn't going to be very bad at all. Having a really slow car on this track is going to be a cakewalk at best. So, uh, you know, we're getting around, like, the last, the last part of the last lap. And, you know, I'm still running the show pretty well and we get up to this area where you go up a hill and there's a little flat area and then it goes downhill and you're going in like the last like three turns and so uh, I slow down to go through this turn and uh, this guy that he was apparently a lot closer to me than I thought he goes flying right past me but he over he over uh, he kind of overdid it a little bit and he went in the grass and it slowed him down and so I was able to kind of catch up to him a little bit as I shifted into fourth gear Right, and when you go downhill, like you get a little bit of air time out of it. And I was able to, uh, j I jumped, and I jumped pretty much like right in the area that he was at, and I landed on top of his car, and I landed right down in front of him, and then I took off, and I ended up, uh, I ended up coming in second place overall, but I, I beat everybody in the race, and so it was super sick, and he's just like, whoa, what the fuck, man? And I was just like, I don't even know what happened. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And it was like super intense because I, I only beat him by maybe like maybe three or four car lengths. But it was super awesome. Like I've never won a race under those parameters before. It was like the coolest thing. I was just like, holy shit, that actually happened. And uh, so that that definitely uh, was was the case. And uh, I also. I also uh, got on the leaderboard for police trainer again. I'm trying to I'm trying to max out all that stuff. Um, so I got on the leaderboard for that. I got on the leaderboard for uh, Raiden DX, which is like a top-down shooter, which was super sick. Even though I only got like eighth place on it, I didn't play shitty. That one was like it was like one of those oh we have all the stock high scores in here because nobody was playing it today type of stuff. And so that was just that was easy pickings. Um, oh shit. Oh no, of course, now here they come, stunting up a storm. Oh my god, dude, my right foot itches so bad, like, you ever have one of those itches where, like, it just doesn't go away, and, like, you want it to go away so bad, but the more, like, the more that you itch it, the better it feels, like, where it's almost, like, orgasmic feeling. Yeah, I haven't had that either, actually, but it's, it's at the point where, like, no matter how much I itch it, like, the itch doesn't go away. It just, like, it persists. And, like, it feels so good to itch it. Like, I hate it so much, but I don't. 
I, I, there's nothing better than the feel of scratching an itch, but there's no worse of a feeling than scratching an itch that absolutely won't go away no matter what you do. Because, you know, if I, if I keep on doing it, my foot's eventually going to start bleeding because I'm going to, like, wear the skin down to pretty much nothing. And then it's just going to start bleeding inside of my sock. And nobody in their in their life ever wants a bloody sock unless you're Kurt Schilling. Because that guy loved having bloody socks, i.e. that one game in the... I think it was in the playoffs where he had that fucking bloody sock. And there was some sort of controversy around it, but I don't remember what it was. It was some shit. I, I, I don't know. And I win! Yay! So, yeah, I mean, today was... Well, at least going to the arcade and having a beer while I was playing definitely made my life better. Except for being on fucking Tekken 5 and getting to the uh, getting to the seventh stage three times and losing on that stage every goddamn time. So pissed off. I mean, I, all I wanted to do was get to stage nine, finish out the damn thing, and be done with my life. But no, no, fucking Panda and some other, and fucking Mokujin. Ooh, look at me, I'm made out of wood and I can just be whoever the fuck I want to be. Uh, I know I can be what I want to be. And if I try real hard, I don't remember that song very well. I just remember that it, that was part of the words to it. But yeah, dude, I fucking, I just, I couldn't get past it for some reason. Uh, so Mokujin and Panda and some other bullshit guy got all up in the way. Um, let's see. Let's see what else we can do here. I'm kind of running out of ideas on, on, actually, you know what? We should be doing the other thing in here. It's the focus challenge. Yeah, we can, that's a pretty easy one. We don't even have to spend a lot of money on it. We just have to buy a focus, which we might as well get this one. I don't know why I would spend the money on the other one. This car's not very fast. I hate seeing these cars in real life, though. I've never been a fan of these cars at all. I remember my friend had one, and I was just like, man, your car fucking sucks. I told him that, too, and he's just like, oh, well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, sorry, I just, I just don't like Fords. I just, I never, I've never liked Fords at all. My, my brother definitely had a Ford Taurus for a long time, and, uh, like, I, I was able to appreciate that car, but only slightly, just because it was pretty cool. We call, what, what the fuck did we call that thing? I don't remember what we called it, because the color was really weird. Um, should be a, I mean, I don't really need to buy this thing, but I might as well. I mean, let's, let's at least go the extra mile and secure the victory before we go out and, you know, be like, oh no, I'm, I'm good enough to beat this, and then we end up not beating it, and then I feel like a piece of shit, because I didn't spend the extra 1500 bucks on that thing. But, uh, yeah, so before that whole scenario of me going to the arcade and being in a good mood, I was actually in a really shitty mood today, because work was just, like, the fucking worst today. Like, I had, like, the biggest case of the Mondays that a guy could have. And I'll, I'll run you down on the whole thing. Dude, I have seen so much of this Rome circuit that it's gonna, like, haunt my dreams forever. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, be in a car, like, running away from, like, aliens or, you know, the, the T-1000 Terminator or something. And I'm gonna be on the Rome circuit, and I'm gonna come down to an area where I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna need to make a perfect turn. And I can't do it. And the T1000's gonna like, you know, run into my car at warp speed, fly through the windshield, and you know, liquid metalify himself like right into my body and just make me explode or something. I don't, I don't know. But that would, that would happen to me. It would happen. It really would. So, at work, I, I gotta run you, I gotta give you, like, the backstory first, otherwise it's not gonna make any sense. So, I work in a different location now. I work at my store that's in Woodburn, which, is, it's a smaller store, but that's where we, uh, like, bulk all of our raw foods and stuff up there. Like, all the grains and all that jizz and stuff. So, uh, we're up there. And, uh, one of my employees, she, uh, she starts getting ready to bulk some wheat germ. I know, this this story sounds like it's just going to be a fucking blockbuster. I, I know, and everybody's like, oh, oh, tell me about that wheat germ, Adam. You tell me about that fucking wheat germ, and I will. So she, start, she starts getting ready to package it up, you know, into, into individual bags and stuff. And she goes in there, to, and she, like, o like, opens up the bag, sealed and everything. She opens it up, and she's like, oh, what the hell is this? And I was like, what? She's like, there's, there's worms in here. And I was like, what? No, hold on a second. So I go and I look in there, and there's just, like, 
three fucking worms just right on the surface of that stuff. And I was just like, and it's like a 50 pound bag. Like we paid out the ass for that bag of, of wheat germ. And I was like, fuck dude, this is bad. Like we, we needed it really badly because we had a bunch of people that are waiting for it. And we're like, well, we can't fucking sell them this, you know, worm laden bag of stuff. And so we had to throw away a 50 pound bag of that. Totally wasted the money. Even though we'll probably end up, you know, getting it, uh, get like credit for that at some point when we call the manufacturer and be like, hey, fuckers, there's worms in your wheat germ, so give us our money back, or else, or else no more jigger and popery. And so, you know, we go on and we're like, all right, well, you know, that really sucks, but, you know, we can, we'll fix that problem. And so, after that, she decides to, uh, she's gonna bulk some, uh, some sesame seeds. And so we're like, all right, well, you know, at least, at least this one will be okay. So we, uh, you know, we uh, crack that bag open. Next thing you know, she's like, "Well, you know, maybe we should look through this one just to make sure, because it came from, uh, it came from the same distributor." So we're like, "All right, well, all right, well, we'll, we'll look through this one. It should be okay, though, because you know, it came at a different time." We open that one up. There's fucking worms all over that one too. We're like, "Shit!" We're like, "This is really bad, man. Like, what the fuck?" Like, what? why is this happening? And that one was like a 30 pound bag, so now we have 80 pounds worth of just useless food that we have no purpose for. And so, you know, we gotta go throw that one away too. Which is even worse, because we don't know what to do with it, because our trash can can only hold, like, they have a weight limit on that. No! No! Oh god, oh no. Don't you dare ruin this for me, you sucker fish, you. Yeah! I have done it! You can't take me alive! You sack of you a coin! <coughs> See, that's what I get for <coughs> for popping off with the noise. <coughs> oh my god. So, oh yeah. So, we end up just like trying to, we have to figure out what to do with this shit, so we end up like walking down the way and throwing it in somebody else's dumpster because, you know, whatever, who cares? It's going to the same place. And so we get to the last one. It's like a, it's like a bag of like wheat berries or something, and so we're like, dude, okay. There better not be anything in here or I'm just gonna lose it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna go home after that. Okay, I wasn't gonna go home because that would be not good. But... So we, you know, we go and we sift through it. Everything looks fine. Like there was no, there were no worms in there. Fucking cool. No big deal. So we start. She, you know, takes it out and sets it on the chair, like right in front of the, right in front of the counter. And she starts bagging it up. No big deal. And uh, oh, what? I didn't have. Did I accidentally buy two cars? I think I accidentally bought two of those. Well, that's stupid. Did I? Did I really buy two of those? Like, I don't remember doing that. Eh, whatever. I got plenty of money. And so, you know, she starts bagging it up, and our manager walked in. And, uh, she needed to go get something, and so she walks, like, right by the chair. And, like, the the gust of wind, because she was kind of, like, in a little bit of a hurry, but, like, the gust of wind that generated from that, like, made the bag fall over onto the floor, and everything that was in it just spilled all over the floor. And as soon as it happened, I did like I did like one of those like action movie like slow motion no things where I just went no and just went all over the floor and I just went I literally I just went God damn it and uh, she's like Oh God I'm so sorry it's like No it's 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 fine it was that and like we all just started laughing we're just like Man this day just sucks. This day is just the worst. Like, can we just, like, go home and just go back to bed? Because this is just not a day that anybody needs to have right now. The Neon Trophy. Okay, we're going to start up the Neon Trophy. Why not? We're not actually going to start it. We're just we're going to buy the necessary things here. We'll get the Neon RT because it's better. By just enough. And it has racing stripes on it. So why not? I mean, it's, it's not, not a bad thing to have. It kind of it looks kind of cool, even though I've never really been a big fan of Dodge Neons. But hey, you do what you got to do. You, gotta, you do what you have to do to finish off the game. This is, I'm, I'm doing the completionist thing right now. And it's, it's good. But yeah, dude, that happened. I'm just like, you got to be fucking kidding me. And then, you know, looking at it further as we're going to go clean the whole thing up, uh, we f I found a dead bee in there. So it's like, even if we would have not done, like, the only way we would have known that, outside of, like, going all the way through it, 
was, you know, we found a fucking dead bee. Like, how is there a dead bee inside of this and worms inside of the other one? Like, what the hell is wrong with this world anymore? Can we just, like, not have that happen? Like, please? It was just a mess. The whole day was just like that. Like, it seemed like whenever things couldn't get worse, it totally got worse. And it's, oh, so glad that it's over. But it's not over because my fucking foot itches so bad. And I just can't stand it. It's gonna make me lose my ever-loving mind. Ah, dude, I'm like, I'm like generating enough energy to start a fire in my room with just like rubbing my foot on the floor. Like, I think I may need to go get like some, like some like Lamisil AT spray or like some Lotrimin AF or something. I definitely have some in my bathroom. I just I was being too lazy to go do it. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to break down and do that because there's no way in hell I'm gonna sleep if I don't do that. So, with that said. We are out of time for this episode, my friends. When we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, we're going to start up the Neon Trophy. And then, we'll, what I'm thinking is that we'll... Because there's obviously... Well, never mind, I'll take that back. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do the Neon Trophy, and then we'll move into an, probably somewhere over in West City and start up some of those. So until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to go spray some stuff on my foot so that I don't completely lose my sanity. So you guys take care. Have a good night. Everybody sleep well because I'm going to bed right after that. So you guys take it easy and I'll see you later. Bye.